My name is Kyle Thompson. I'm the Director of Buildings and Grounds for the Mecklen-Thiensville School District. Uh, we're in charge of all the facilities, all the building needs, energy, safety, security. So Homestead High School is approximately half a million square foot high school. It's actually Wisconsin's second largest high school when you look at it being a one-story building. We have almost a mile of hallway here. Um, we have a big pool, we have a big cafeteria that seats about 600 kids each lunch period. We're in a, a, a district with declining enrollment. The high school that, that we're in can hold 1,800 kids and today we've got about 1,400 kids in there. So with declining kids is declining revenue from the state, which means declining budgets. Um, at the end of the day, that sounds like a good mix, but unless we're shutting buildings down, my cost really doesn't go down. I still have the same amount of parking lots to plow and maintain, the same square footage of buildings to heat and maintain. So there really is a challenge there. And one of the problems that we're having where not all the systems were running the way they need to be ran. Shutting systems off, keeping fresh air out of the buildings, just different ways of, of making sure we, we reach that, that energy benchmark, but not the correct way. The building wasn't real healthy because there really wasn't proper things and proper maintenance happening to the equipment that was here. So the first thing we did was take an audit, made sure that the equipment we had worked and ran correctly. And once we got that all working, and we got everything turned back on and needed to be turned back on, because again, the way to save energy here was let's shut air handlers off, let's shut exhaust fans off, because if we have exhaust fans, we're bringing in air that needs to be heated and cooled. That costs money. Well, it does, but buildings are designed for proper ventilation. So we got everything back up and going. And then that first electric bill came, and everybody's what the heck are you doing down there, Thompson? How, how can we have jumped so big in power? And when you explain to the school board, well, the problem is that we, we had lots of things off and now we're getting things back up and going, it's very understandable. The power bill is what the power bill was. We did a recommissioning of the building. When we got through with that, again, we, we weren't saving a lot of money. We, we just, we weren't finding it. So that's when I, asked friends to, to work with me because they came to me with this this program that seemed almost too good to be real at the time and and I said well let's let's look you know we've done a lot but let's take a look and it was a process to get it in but once we got it in and we started analyzing things all oh, immediately you could start seeing several little things and and those several little things soon equaled well there it is that's that's magic bullet. We began our relationship with Homestead High School and the Mequon Thiensville School District about a year and a half ago. The initial things that we did with them were to just get our arms around what was going on with utility consumption in the building. We used 15 minute interval data that was available from Lee Energies and put it into energy optics so that we had the ability to take a look at uh, essentially how the building was living and breathing. What it showed us was that overall um, the building was being operated pretty well, but that we would have um, instances where, where operation would change and it was costing them a lot of money. And when after we were done looking at the optics runs, we kind of collaborated and said, boy, we should be able to, through better operating strategies and paying more attention to uh, when we use and how we use, let's see if we can't knock these peaks down um, just with better operating strategies. The piece that I really like the most from this is that we didn't bring a lot of heavy steel in. We didn't replace boilers, we didn't replace chillers, we didn't replace air handling units, we didn't do any of that stuff. That the train energy services and the optics that, that came into our building allowed us just to look at how we're running and are we running correctly. And what the cool thing was is my staff would, would get these reports and they'd look at it and they'd go home at night and they'd think, well, geez, why did we have a spike at 10, 10 in the, in, in the morning? And why was that spike 37 kW? I mean, that, that's a lot of energy. We, have, we work with a, a computerized management work order system. The train energy solution folks, they'll get in there and they'll look at our optics runs. They'll look at what, what our building's doing. And if they see something that, that's weird, they'll actually enter a ticket. And the integration of, of being able to have another set of eyes looking at our stuff, it's, it's, it's great because 
We're hoping to look at it, but I've got one HVAC guy for a million square foot. It, and it's kind of hard for him to see everything. Optics makes it a lot easier for us to do that, but it's nice to have that one extra step that Train provides for us. We found so many good stories just coming out of Homestead. We're rolling it out to all of our buildings. So we're real excited about that. Well, then we start working with our very engaged students here, and we can bring up cool things and, and put monitors up showing what our CO2 reduction is. When we look at where we were, what our high water mark from, from KW, and where we are today, and what we're actually saving, and again, we're saving that without spending a lot of money. We didn't put a lot of heavy steel and stuff into our buildings. That means that we're saving about $5,000 a month just in electrical. And that means we're saving about 15% a month as well. So that $5,000 a month, that buys us a lot of stuff. That's like getting a check every month for $5,000 and being able to go on that long range plan list that we have together. very happy with everything that we've accomplished here at Homestead High School. We've saved a lot of money. We've reinvested that money right back into the environment. And the environment is so important to us here. And I'm really excited that we're going to be moving this process to the rest of the buildings here in the Mecklenburg Mutual School District.